Hey everybody, so here we go. It is that time of the week. It's time for the week 11, uh, my pick results for week 11 and um, my picks for coming up week 12. Um, just got back from Mexico, so hola and buenos dias. It was a great trip. And if you watched Monday Night Football, you know who won and that's a no brainer. Um, so you know who I picked and you know I won it. But let's get right to it. Here is my picks. For week 11. Thursday night was the Saints and Panthers. 20 for the Saints. Panthers for 23. I picked the Panthers and I won that. And now on to Sunday. Morning, afternoon, and evening. Uh, it was cards at the Vikings. 24 to 30. In favor of the Vikings, I picked the cards. They lost. Bills at Bengals. 16 to 12. I picked the Bengals. Gave them the benefit of the doubt. AJ Green. Injured. Problems in the Cincinnati area. So, uh, you know, that's something to be said. That's going to be a big hit, but I lost on that one. Bears, Giants, at Giants, 16-22. Giants won. I picked that. Steelers, at Browns, 24-9. to I picked the Steelers. And, yes, uh, Steelers won. Uh, Bucks, at Chiefs, 19-17. I picked the Chiefs. They lost by two. I lost that one. Ravens, at Cowboys, uh, 17-27, I picked the Cowboys, and they won. Jags at Lions, 19-26. Um, I picked the Lions, and I won. Titans at Colts, 17-24. The Colts won. I picked the Colts and won that. Dolphins at Rams. I picked the Dolphins. It was 14-10. I picked the Dolphins and won that one. Pats at 49ers. That was a no-brainer. Uh, welcome home to Tom Brady, they say, here in the Bay Area. I don't care. I'm from the East Bay, and he's directly about 10 miles across the Bay. 15, I guess. Uh, so, Tom Brady, whatever. But I went with the Brady train. They won 30-17. to And uh, Niners, I'm not even going to talk about it. Eagles, Seahawks at Seahawks. 15-26 up the Seahawks. Seahawks won. I won. Packers at Redskins, 24-42 for Sunday night, and I picked the Redskins, and they did win. And for Monday night, of course, like I said, from Mexico City, uh, it was muy bueno. Texans, 20, Raiders, 27, and of course, I picked the Raiders and, and won that one. Um, and I have to admit, I just want to say something about that game. Um, I, I love the win, 8-2, um, and two, love it. Um, I have to admit, our you know Jack Del Rio won't admit it, but uh, I'll admit it that I was kind of questionable about Hopkins and if he went out of bounds and got that touchdown or not. But they ruled him back; they couldn't, you know, they couldn't review it. So neither here or there. That's history. Like I said, it was a great game. Uh, if you happen to see it, twenty twenty seven for Monday Night Football, I won that one. So for Week Eleven, I got eleven and three. And that's a great week. And there you go. That's in the books. Now here's my picks for week 12. Um, oh, and by the way, happy uh, Thanksgiving Eve. It's Thursday. Uh, oh, yeah. Or it's Wednesday, but Thursday. So for Thursday night games, we've got three games. And here are my picks for them. I'm going to run through them. Vikings at Lions. I got Lions. Redskins at Cowboys. I got Cowboys. And Cowboys looking sharp, man. That 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 up and coming quarterback, fantastic. So and a shout out to my boy Robert. He's a diehard uh, Cowboy fan. So there you go. Steelers at Colts. I picked the Steelers. Um, I was going to say something. Um, yeah, I'll just pass on that. So onward to Sunday morning, afternoon, and evening games. Um, Rams at Saints. I picked the Saints. Titans at Bears. I picked the Titans. Um, I think Cutler's, I think they're going to get rid of him pretty quick. I don't know what's going on in, in the world in Chicago, but in that, uh, Cutler's not cutting it. So there you go. Cards at Falcons, the Bird Bowl. Um, for, uh, I'm just going to go with the Falcons on that one. I was going to throw in a bad joke, but fuck that. Uh, Giants at Browns, you know, I want to hope that the Browns can do something. I mean, Jesus, you know, I feel for the fans. Hell, I know. I'm a, I'm a Raider fan. I mean, we went through decades, you know, since 2002 with just horrible uh, coaching and, and, and just horrible seasons. So I feel for the fans. But like I said, these are picks, and it's not based on, you know, 
feelings. It's uh, based on statistics. I'm going with the Giants. Onward, Chargers at Texans. Again, I think Texans look good. Um, I, I like what I'm seeing there. Um, they really did show up without J.J. Watt uh, defensively against the Raiders, and so that was kind of surprising. Um, so I am going, uh, I think Clowney, Clowney was really fantastic in the defense, so I'm going to see the Texans uh, shut down the Chargers. Jags at Bills. Um, Bills, going with them. Bengals, Ravens. I'm going with the Ravens. Bengals are hurting A.J. Green. He's out. I, um, he got injured. I think it was a hamstring. So that's going to be a big hit um, as well as, um, oh, gosh, I forgot his name right at the top of my head. But onward, the running game, I think it's going to be kind of really soft in that game. So there you go. 49ers at Dolphins. Dolphins are at home. 49ers, I just ain't got nothing good to say about you. Um, I think the Dolphins are going to do, they're going to run up, up and down that field right all over your asses. And it's going to be kind of fun to watch because, you know, I just don't like the 49ers. Don't like their organization. And, oh, by the way, 49ers organization, deep trouble with uh, their new stadium. Uh, they're about to lose uh, management rights with their new stadium uh, because they're not providing paperwork for the city of Santa Clara. And that's kind of interesting if you haven't followed that story. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how the 49ers are going to just uh, clean up their act, you know, when it comes to that brand new shiny stadium, $1.2 billion stadium they got. So take a lesson on that. Uh, Oakland, uh, when it comes to stadiums. Seahawks at Bucks. I'm going with the visiting team. I'm going with the Seahawks. Pat to Jets. Going with the Brady train. He's on fire. He, he, he's, he's Tom Brady. And he you always know, Hall of Fame style uh, gameplay. Pats. Panthers at Raiders. I'll be at that game. And, of course, I'm going with these guys right there. The Raiders and Chiefs Broncos going to be another AFC West rivalry. I'm going to be really tuned to that game for Sunday night. Chiefs and Broncos. I hate to say it, I'm going with the picks, but I just like to see. I hate. I wish they could just tie. That'd be cool, a third tie for the the season. But I'm just going with the Broncos. They're at home. And Monday nights Packers Eagles. I am going with the Packers. Um, that's going to be interesting to watch as well for Monday night. So there you go. There's my picks. Um, breaking news here in Oakland. Uh, Ronnie Lott, former uh, 49er and Raider. Um, he is, if you don't know, he has a development team he's been working with, um, trying to help us establish uh, owning and or leasing the Oakland Alameda County property here in Oakland. And he's got the deal all set up and ready to go. Um, the city of Oakland is absolutely excited now. They got this really great deal going with the Oakland um, Raiders stain. Um, the only problem, and it just has, now it has to be proposed to uh, Alameda County supervisors and, um, you know, for approval. And if so, it's a win. And the only thing that's stopping us is the dipshit Mark Davis. And uh, that guy, he's, he's committed to Vegas. And at this point in time, he's asked everything from Oakland, and Oakland has provided it now. Um, this, just, uh, a, this just happened 24 hours ago. And uh, so, you know, I don't know what his uh, thing is with um, staying in Vegas, but bottom line is I don't know if he's just planning on, you know, moving the team, wants to move the team to Vegas, and then totally just – you know, fucking sell them off if they don't sell the seats and sell out the place with their with that billion dollar stadium they want to pipe dream on, um, and then just sell off the team. And, and you know, I don't know. It, it just sounds like a clusterfuck from his move. He's just he's got a bad haircut and he's got bad business. So there you go. I'm not going to put too much uh, faith into Mark Davis at the moment. I have my feelings about him that I'll keep at the moment to myself and we still got to, they still got to go um three fourths uh, votes with the owners and uh hopefully jerry jones doesn't sway it in davis's direction so that's my opinion on that i'm gonna cut it short so like i said it is thanksgiving eve um i want to wish everybody a happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving and i guess right now i'm just going to say what am i grateful for uh or thankful for um many things you know just uh Right, I guess right now I'm pretty much thankful that we're starting to get a, a 
great foundation and, and a deal done in Oakland to keep my team in Oakland. Um, and also, I'm very thankful that they're eight and two. You know. So there you go. Um, thank you. And uh, I wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving and peace out. Uh, and uh, that's it. See ya.